here's the plan. The whole reason I bought this Polaroid printer is because my current printer is much too big for our Airstream. We tried to come up with some different ways to get them to fit and while it was sort of practically possible, the amount of space my current printer would be taking up uh, is just too much to justify in the Airstream for how little I actually do really big prints anymore. I actually really like tiny prints. This is something that's been changing with me. I don't like doing huge ones. I don't really like the way that my art looks with them and I think there's something more special about them being small. Also, there's just only so much wall space that we have for sure and I know that a lot of you have. I like keeping things a little more minimal these days. So the whole crazy idea was what if I can print my actual illustrations on a Polaroid printer that can print them from my phone after creating these illustrations digitally or sometimes with a combination of traditional and digital. And maybe the Polaroid part will add a bit more of an interesting charm to it. Or it could go completely wrong and they look absolutely horrible. It's okay, either way, I have a plan. I hope this works. <gasps> oh. oh, well, that was unintentional. Let's pretend I did that on purpose. Da -da. Oh. I knew that was gonna happen, but I forgot. So I had to switch to filming with my iPad because I realized I actually need my phone in order to print from my phone. Go figure. I'm gonna start with this illustration that I did from the end of the fucking world. This is James and Lucy dancing. It's one of my favorites. So even if this doesn't work super well, I'm still probably gonna have it on my wall because I really love this. Okay. about this process. It's so old school. I know that maybe it's weird to do something so old school with digital art, but I actually really like that. I love juxtaposition of things. I've been thinking about what kind of stories I like. They're always kind of indie dramedies where you have these moments of intense pain and ridiculousness at the same time. Whatever it is about these stories that has have two very clashing things in them that just feel so much truer. This feels like it fits with that. Like it fits with the kind of stories that I just love and that I want to learn how to tell better. I love the idea of bringing something like that very tangibly into sharing my art with you. So this is the first one I did. Oh yeah. I kind of love that little spot here. I actually think this is pretty cool as it is. I will keep that one. All right, here's the one that I flipped a little later. Honestly, these actually don't look that different. <laughs> okay, I'm really curious. These turned out pretty dark. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be almost too dark to see, but let's see. Oh, yeah, but I think if I brighten it up, honestly, this isn't gonna be that different than printing on my regular printer in terms of like, I, I have to change the levels on my regular printer too. Okay, let's give it another go. Testing. I'm so excited about this, you guys! 
is. I've gone through a whole series of tests with a few different images, made some adjustments in the Polaroid app and in Lightroom, made some new presets for myself, but honestly, mostly, I like the images really well without any adjustment. It's very Polaroid, it's very vintage, it's imperfectly perfect, and I think it actually really adds something to my work in even kind of a different way than I expected. I just love how these feel. It feels like a memory. I love this one of Coraline. You lose a little bit of the clarity in some of the tiny little details, and we get some different color variation, but it feels like I took a picture of something in real life with a magical camera that turned it into an illustration. This feels more like what I want my work to feel like. It feels more like how I want to capture what life feels like. It has this weird sort of clash of the artistic and accidental at the same time. I love it. I love it. And I think you all will love it too. So one of the reasons I'm extra, extra excited about these is how I can attach a video to them. So if I were to send you this print and you have the Polaroid app, all you have to do is scan this print and you can see whatever video I attach to it, which could be a personalized message for me or maybe the process video for how I illustrated it. There's so many possibilities. It's incredible and I'm so excited to test that one out. I am so pumped about these that I'm actually gonna do a special offer for my Patreon. So if you join my Patreon anytime between now and September 30th, I'm going to send each and every one of my patrons a Polaroid and you get to pick. I cannot wait to share these with you. If you're already a patron, thank you, I love you. You can look forward to a post from me soon about how to choose which illustration or image you would like me to send to you as one of these lovely Polaroids. If you're not a patron, you can become one using the link in the description or at the end of this video. A brand new Polaroid from my brand new printer. <laughs> Is that good?